George, after a marvelous career of looking at the universe and seeing these spectacular pictures of the origin of the baby pictures of the universe uh, that you've uh, been involved in leading and really uh, dramatically enhancing humanity's understanding of our place in, in, in the world. How do you reflect on this? Uh, well, what, what, is it, what does it mean to you to have, have, have put your hands literally on the formation of the universe? It's, it's funny because when I was working on it, I was mostly, I was thinking, this is really interesting to work on a good important question, but mostly it was getting it done yeah, and doing sure. it. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't until it was time to make the public announcement that the enormity of when it all hit me. And so the analogy I give is imagine you're working in an emergency room and you're having to deal with accident victims all the time coming mm -hmm. in. And so you are really efficient and you deal with them and you, you know that you're putting your hand in a human chest and you know this kind of stuff. And one day you look down and it's your child. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, you have a really, right? So it feels sort of <laughs> that way in retrospect. But at the time it was like just, you know, I would need to know how the universe, you know, for me, I wanted to know how the universe worked and, and how it goes. And now I have to, I have to spend a lot more time. People ask me questions. I spend more time reflecting on it. And I think that the first thing is, it's, is this whole episode, everything we've been doing in cosmology is tremendous human achievement that here we are, people in a tiny speck, you know, we're located essentially in a very limited space. I mean, the Earth looks big to people, but when you start looking at hundreds of billions of galaxies, it's just the tiniest speck. It's a tiny speck in our own galaxy, never mind the fact that our galaxy is a tiny speck. Sure. And you look in this tiny place in a very short time. You know, we're talking cosmology, less than 100 years of real stuff, and maybe certainly less than 6,000 years of human contemplation, careful contemplation. Humans are only a speck. The light that started from Andromeda and got here today started before where there were humans, right? And so just think of and this. that's our closest galaxy. Our, our closest galaxy, right? Our closest big galaxy, yeah. right? And so think of the implications. We have this tiny speck in space and time, and we're trying to understand the enormity of the whole sweep of the universe in space and its entire history. And we're doing it. Right, and we have reason to be confident that we're understanding that. And the picture that we're putting together and emerging is really spectacular. And it's, in some ways, very simple. It's complex and it's weaving together, but it's made of very simple elements, right? And it's sort of like, you know, the shirt, it's made of threads going this way. And if you look, you can make fancy patterns in it and so forth. This one happens to be simple. But, you know, the universe is made of simple building blocks and simple ideas and whoosh, it all comes out. And that is truly spectacular. But the other thing is, I think in every human, at least in me, it was extreme, but in every human, there's a need to know where do we come from. So every human culture has always had a story about how the world was created and what our place in it is. Right? And here we're having one that's now global. And presumably if we met aliens, they would have a similar story to tell. Right? We'd have a common basis of this. But here's the creation story from all of hum for all of humanity. And it's backed up by observations and by simple logic and simple understanding. And so that's a very powerful intellectual achievement that you're able to understand and describe the whole sweep of history in the universe. And by the whole sweep of history, I mean 14 billion years, right? Not 2,000 years. And it's, it's incredible kind of intellectual achievement. But because people are so interested in it, you find that people are motivated. It's, I always find kids are excited by dinosaurs <laughs> or by looking at the sky, right? And it's a way that people get attracted in to understand that there is this worldview and this approach to understanding the world that leads them to want to, 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 to learn about, you know, it's, it's a lead into science. It's the way that young people are attracted to learn about, you know, that, that they can understand the universe in a simple and straightforward way and the world in a simple and straightforward way, learn a little math, learn a little science, they get started, they, most of them don't turn into scientists, they turn into engineers, they turn into computer scientists, they turn into people who have intellectual understanding, but the whole public. And we live in a world that's more and more modern and complex, that depends more on technology. And feeling comfort with understanding the physical world gives people 
comfort in knowing how to live day to day. I, I think there are two pieces to this. I think the one is, as you've said, the, the understanding of the modern world, modern science, appreciation of science, and the other is, is, a, is a broader sense of our own, of our own uh, humanity and our own place in the universe, uh, the, 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 the awe and the majesty that we see by looking at the physical world, no matter what your uh, 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 theological or philosophical or ethnic uh, relationship, we're all seeing the same universe. It's, it really is, a, is a, a way of unifying the entire world uh, for a similar uh, um, uh, sense of, of, of this awe. Yeah, I think so. You can't help but respond to these pictures of these beautiful galaxies far away and knowing that there are stars and worlds there and so forth. And the more you understand about it, the greater your sense is that way. You know, people say, well, if you understand what a rainbow is from, this is it's pretty. Take away the beauty. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not no, true. It's, right. it's more it beautiful. More, beauty. And you look for the extra things. You right. look for the double rainbow. You look for the, <laughs> you, you look for the, the extra. It's sort of like understanding a certain part of art better. You, you, you look for subtleties right. and extra right. effects. Here, you, appreciate you see more. the richness and you see the, you know, the multi, uh, multiple aspects of it. It's, it's, uh, it's very enriching and it's, it, it, gives, it makes your sense of awe deeper and, and more majestic. The two most spectacular pictures to me that, that, that continually turn my stomach in, 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 its, uh, in their power are one is the Hubble deep field or ultra deep field where you took a picture of a, of a uh, ostensibly black part of the universe, nothing there. And when you developed after numerous hours, you saw literally thousands of galaxies in an extremely small space that looked like it was, it was empty and just breathtaking. And the second is what you and your colleagues have done with a cosmic microwave background, because what that did is it, it's not as obvious as the Hubble Deep Field, but in a sense it's, it's more powerful because it shows a picture of the early universe. Those two pictures uh, to me, to me, uh, uh, typify uh, the great understanding that humanity has of, of, of its of its environment. For me, I have a similar effect, but one is I look at the early universe and see how simple it was, and I look at the modern universe and see how complex it is, mm -hmm. and see I can see how it all I can see the threads that link it all together, and how it makes so much sense. So and, you have like a before and after, right? And you have to figure out how the transition occurred. Yeah, and I think I think I understand it a lot. I think, you know, not me alone, but the, the, the whole network of scientists that are working on this, they have put together a story that's so compelling and so beautiful in the way it comes together.